welcome to Inner Space After Bite, the official after show for Bitten. And tonight promises to be, yeah, I'm going to say it, the best episode yeah. yet. Joining us are the Wolf Pack, Grayston, Greg, Laura, Steve, and Michael, who are all here. Hey, everyone. Yo, yo. Hi. Welcome. Of course, <laughs> later on in the show, we'll be joined by the witches as well. We got Tammy, Tommy, Amber, and of course, Kiera. But you guys are here. We got to talk about this episode right away. Oof. I'm thinking back to the beginning of season two. Congratulations. Yes, yeah, congratulations. congratulations. Back in the beginning, you guys said there would be plenty of curveballs, and you were not kidding. I mean, tonight's episode, Elena dies. I know. Elena dies, everybody. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, we did just see it, so we're not spoiling anything. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. What was that scene like? Because that was one of the most emotional scenes that we have seen thus yeah. far. Yeah, um, I think when I, they sort of warned me ahead of time, I got the phone call, so you're going to die, and I laughed. Right. And I thought, well, no, I'm not going to die. And they're like, no, you actually do die, and, uh, but don't worry, you will be back. So I had a little exhale, but um, that scene with Grayston was, it was pretty emotional that day, and, and during rehearsal, uh, TJ Scott was our director, and I think we got a little into the rehearsal, and we were, I, I started sobbing, and he was crying, and TJ was like, let's just save it for, for, for taping, because we were both a little emotional during the whole process. So. Yeah, you kind of have to keep a, a certain level of emotion the whole day. Yeah. You know, you can't just jump out of it and, you know, start cracking jokes. You really have to stay at that level. And TJ was really great, and, you know, obviously, he, any good director knows that it's very emotional, and it's very tough for the actors. And we shot it in, we did the close-ups first, which is really mm -hmm. a nice way to go about it. Typically, you don't do that. You do the wise, and then you come in. But we got to do all our emotional stuff, get the close-ups out of the way, and then we kind of moved back and did the wise, which He was nice great, because he kept the set quiet for us and, and the mood. And, yeah. you know, Grayston was so amazing. Looking up at him during what I was doing, I, I couldn't help but cry, because he was just so incredible the tears were actually falling on my face and oh. yeah it was it was great i was you actually just amazing. off i was off screen pulling grayson's chest hair. <laughs> yeah exactly oh. that was some inspiration got. michael was cutting onions it was like yeah, yeah. yeah. everyone was yeah. helping us out yeah, yeah. very Team supportive effort. Effort. <laughs> well from a serious emotional scene to a serious ass kicking scene i mean we've had so much fun this season on after by talking about who was going to be the one to take down Alistair. Mm. My money mm. was totally on you, Greg. I thought it was going to be Jeremy because of what happened with Logan. Clay, we thought yeah. Elena, who knows? Who knows? And then it was Elena. So what was that like for you knowing you had that final so rewarding. drowning? So rewarding. I mean, I, I, uh, I love Sean. He's a wonderful actor and that was his first fight sequence as well. Yeah. Um, and it was tough. The poor guy I had to drown him over and over again uh, just to get the lighting right. So he was like really back in. <laughs> Dying in a beautiful um, way. You could tell, yeah. Yeah, he, <laughs> he looked really annoyed. He was a wonderful addition to the show. And um, I was sad to be the one to kill him, but also f uh, for Elena, very, very pleased. Yeah. 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 We were excited about it. Well, it uh, was another devastating death on the show last week. Michael, we got to talk about saying goodbye to Logan. I mean, mm -hmm. you were on After Bite last week, but the audience really only had minutes to react to it. Now we've had a yeah. full week to digest that. What's that been like watching the love come in over oh, Twitter man. and social media? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been incredible. You you know, I, I, it's just a blessing. You know, I, I love that the fans are, I love that we have these social outlets that we could look to and, yeah. you know, get the feedback from the fans. And it's just been, it's very humbling. It, very nice. Like, people are still messaging even us, mm -hmm. you know, about, yeah. you know, how, how are we still feeling? And yeah. so I can only imagine all of you got yeah. such an amazing response to that. It was a huge loss for the pack and for us as a cast. And yeah. I love Michael. He he will. He's such an incredible person and actor. And like we got emotional when we heard we had to lose him. Oh yeah, yeah. Devastating. still upset. I thought it was a prank. <laughs> well, did you? Yeah. 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 It was awful. Oh man. Speaking of devastating moments, your character Nick tonight had a devastating oh. loss. Paige basically dumping him. So, Steve Lund, how did you deal with that internally? Because I can't imagine you have any experience with having your heart. Like, first, first time the time idea of a lady that actually is. looking at you and saying, this is over, is, I can't even fathom that. He's been waiting all show to ask you that specific <laughs> question. He's like, it's going to be good. I had a feeling. <laughs> did you not so know how, how to respond? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Felt like I was a lost little boy in the grocery store. <laughs> what do I do? Yeah. But no, it was, yeah, it was devastating to let such a such a beautiful woman and and the one thing that i had a connection to my whole life mm. you know the woman who taught me how to really be a man um yeah no offense jeremy <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah i think uh, i think i took it i took it well and then i went out uh, later that night and just went on a tear and, <laughs> As or up Queen Street. <laughs> <laughs> just feel good about yourself. Yeah, just to it. know. Yeah, yeah. 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 still got it. Just still feel good. Pheromones are still there. <laughs>
Uh, okay, can we talk about your fight scenes, though, too? They were pretty epic. Well, and then everyone's the, fight scenes well, in yeah, this episode. So many, but yours on the escalator? I mean, how cool was that? It was the coolest thing I've ever done in my whole life. Really? <laughs> yeah, the coolest thing I've ever done. Um, it was the most fun, like, just jumping over the, the escalator and swinging under the pole and grabbing somebody with my heels. That was the coolest move, when you grabbed yourself with your fun. feet and pulled oh. it down. Yeah. Was the entire thing choreographed, or did you just go with the flow? It was just all improv. He choreographed yeah. himself. <laughs> yeah. It's just yeah, a yeah, natural yeah. instinct. Yeah. Okay, see, was, I was actually going to believe that for a second. I was like, yeah. really? Yeah, it was, I think, um, uh, my, my, <laughs> my stunt double said that he was the most bored person on set. Because I did all of it, because I wanted... I wanted to, to make sure that I got all of it done. Yeah. So I rehearsed the, the the crap out of it for so long to make sure it was, was good, and it, and it worked out. Who was your stunt double? Costas. Costas. Yeah. Costas. 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 You the man, dude. You're yeah. my dog. <laughs> well, is it true that you guys were shooting this between the hours of 6 at night and 6 a.m.? Like, the whole episode was yeah. done as a yeah. night shoot, yeah, essentially? Yeah, it was night shoots, that one, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of cold as well. And, it was uh, so cold that night. Yeah, 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 I'm not sure why that was. I, that was the night I think I took a picture of you guys all lying under the heat oh, lamp the at, like, right. 3 yeah. in the morning. So wow. Yeah, but it was, uh, it was a great location, and it had sort of the, the way it was lit. You had these sort of very haunting modern elements and then the stuff in the caverns was mm -hmm. so sort of slick and dark it was like a birthing canal now grayson you've said numerous times how much you like food and you're always eating <laughs> so, i mean what do you eat to sustain all that energy throughout these night shoots uh whatever's around like whatever's in front of me <laughs> you don't have like energy drinks or <laughs> no i don't really i don't like sweet stuff but like anything savory if it's in front of me i'll probably yeah, i'll eat it uh, you're like constantly <laughs> grazing all night yeah exactly like, just sort of have these moments where we're looking at we're not really talking to each other, but we're just hovering over the craft table. <laughs> it's like, you know, you know when you go to the fridge, you know what's in there, but you keep going back, and you're like, yes. maybe it'll change. Maybe yes. something yes. new will pop up. Grazing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Grazing. That's a nice pun. Grazing. He's grazing. Oh. 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 Yeah, I didn't, even see, that yeah, I didn't see it. I saw it. <laughs> We gotta also ask about uh, Kane coming back. There was a lot of uh, reaction on social media. People excited to see Kane back. And then you had that moment with Noah in the episode tonight. Uh, how much fun was shooting that scene in the corridor with the policeman? That was great, man. And what a way for him to. I mean, you know, he, he didn't really die in that scene, so you know, maybe he's gonna he come just back. Won't die. He won't die, yeah. right? I mean, you don't see him die I per was. se, so they kind of left that open. But it's, uh, um, it's so great to have him back. He's the sweetest, sweetest man. Like if you look at him and you saw him on the street, you'd be terrified. But like when you meet him, if he opens his mouth and says one word, you're like, oh my god, this yeah, guy's a sweet. teddy bear. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we all love him so much. So it was, uh, it was really great to have him back. And I think the fans. Love that, you know. He's... I don't know if people are aware either. His father is Dan B. the painter. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. What? Now we oh. are aware. I'm pretty sure I might be making. Now, but I went to Wikipedia. Go Google. Uh, well, so much. <laughs> no one doesn't even know the what? same last name. Yeah. Must be. <laughs> How many can there be? Dan no, Google who Dan. I don't know who I this is. I need to look this up. We need to look this up. Well, so much has happened throughout this season. What do you think you will miss most? Yeah. Oh, of course. That's yeah. Oh, yeah. Right yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll miss. I'll miss him too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michael and I know. just got back from spending a month together in a car. Oh. Are you serious? So, yeah. 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 The camaraderie. You weren't even driving anywhere. The lookout. Park nice, lot of All right. Well, we do have to take our first commercial break, but afterwards, the pack will be joined by the witches, Tammy, Tommy, Amber, and Kiara. They'll be right here. But first, check out set secrets. A look behind the curtain at what was really happening on set while shooting some of your favorite scenes. <laughs> Is he okay? Back up. That's key card only, bro. Uh, there's gotta be stairs. In case you didn't notice, we're not armed. They are. I know you showed me mercy, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna take a bullet for you. Welcome back. 
back to Inner Space After Bite, the official after show for Bitten. We've been talking with the wolf pack, and now we're joined by the witches. Welcome, Kira Glasgow, Tommy Amber Peary, and of course, Tammy Isbell. Yay! <laughs> yes, Steve. Is that what you do on set a lot with when the witches yes. come on? You're like, no. And garlic. <laughs> and but garlic. it never works. It's getting pretty close with one of the witches. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, are you? We like know right that you're now, still hurt. It wasn't, it wasn't garlic, it was kale, remember? Kale chips? Oh, yeah. Kale chips. Oh, yeah. Do you, can you want to set a secret? Yes. Sure. Yeah. yeah. You want to set a secret? Yeah. Okay. So the scene, what was it? 208 or 209? 209. 209. We're on the we're on this, and he says, I love you. And it was so romantic. Blah, 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 blah. Right before he shot the scene, he ate a bunch ate of kale. A bunch of kale. Hours, All sure. he did was fart through the entire scene. <laughs> oh, I pinched no. off I most of it. I about that. But it was very hard to get emotional when you're. And I, I thought he was just Plenty. really emotional, but he was just like, oh, I love you. <laughs> it was just yeah. Yes. And in retrospect, yeah. he told everyone else, and then I was clued in, and You're everything, to know oh, everything made sense. Yeah. And we're all surprised why she breaks up with him in the last. Right? Right? Yeah. 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 Deal breaker. <laughs> you don't deal breaker. Gassy, gassy well, guy. Yeah. All right, we got questions. We, to yeah, ask. we have some right, serious, serious sorry. questions sorry. here. We have to talk about the battle scene, Tommy Amber, with you and Laura. Mm. I mean, so good. Was that so fun? Good. Was it challenging? And what was that black goo yeah. coming out of your mouth? I know oh, that God. was crazy. That was so much fun, though. Yeah, yeah. We shot that again, probably at like three o'clock in the morning in a staircase that was very pointy and sharp yeah and we were throwing each other around and like there's actually a take uh in the episode you see my hand go behind her head for a second because I, I saw her going towards a sharp object yeah. it was it was so intense and we did about what did we do we must have run it like 10 or 15 times mm -hmm. that scene and it was so hot where we had to start at the top of the staircase and we exerted lights. yeah and the lights and yeah. we were exerting so so much yeah. so by the time we were wrapped that scene we were told i mean you had to keep going but i was depleted well she was amazing in that scene i mean and and i didn't see the goo it was great because it's my genuine reaction <laughs> to the goo. <laughs> they put it in her mouth and, and she spews it down and i can't see but when she turned back to me in the scene i was like, <laughs> and I was like what's happening it was um it was black bean and something oh, else or other well, oh, wow yeah. i also didn't know you could drop your voice like 10 octaves right so, that was I'm, wild so Balance. total exorcist what yeah. was that like for you to see that scene with your voice talking like that Oh, it was great. I mean, my my black tongue. I tried. I tried. You nailed it. No, it was good. It was real good. Do you the cast now? No. Well, it's funny because on the day I didn't know that they were going to alter it, but it totally added to the to the you know the whole feeling and stuff like that. And you're convulsing and everything. I mean, you must have been so tired. I was watching her do all of this physical exertion. There was a point where Laura's like, I want to be doing that. Remember that? So jealous. Like, oh, I love the exorcism. Yeah. And I love horror movies. And I was like, that's. So cool. I was very jealous. Why are you guys well, laughing? Like, I'm not, cool. not at all. Yes. Yeah, like, what's going on? Why the gallery? They just jumped yeah, in on the couch. You. We got to talk to Tammy about the, the big uh, conclusion. We finally get to see Ruth and Alistair go head to head. For you, that had to be like a, a fun moment to finally have that tete a tete with your son. Oh, it is so fun. Yeah. There was actually a line that uh, I think it got cut, but I, I get to say, uh, Come and say that to my face. I think the line got no, cut. you did say that. Did I say you it? said that. Okay, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. And I was, I read the script and I was like, oh, I can hardly wait to say that. It's one of those lines that, you know, as an actor, you get and go, oh, yeah, that's a good yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, no, yeah, it was super, super fun. And I win. Right. Of course, yeah. It was very satisfying yeah. Satisfying for us. Was that the first time that you guys were together on set? With, no. With Sean? No, because I think you had a few confrontations, but they were always so short and yeah. fleeting. Yeah, and, and I didn't know what actually was happening when we had them like I didn't know he was my son I hadn't yeah. figured right, it all right, out right. at that point I just thought and I actually have a line where I say who are you what do you want mm -hmm. you know and then I figure it out mm -hmm. yeah. I always think good. <laughs> well uh, 